Shut up and sit down. What's the story, Internet? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to just jump straight into this. This is my Champions League preview video. Um, we've got a lot of matches to get through. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. <laughs> got a lot of matches to get through, let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, so, jumping straight into it. Um, first thing I want to say, um, if you are in America, all of these matches are on CBS. They own the exclusive rights. So, um, it's either CBS or CBSN, CBSSN, which is CBS Sports Network. Um, or you can watch them on Fubo, Fubo TV if you have Fubo. So just keep an eye out for Fubo. <laughs> um, it is a subscription service, so you do have to pay for it. Um, so, but that's another option for you. So straight into it. Zenit St. Petersburg versus Club Rouge. Um, got to be honest, I don't know a lot about either of the teams. Um, I know that Club Rouge um, has always been one of those teams that have played quite well against Manchester United when we've played them in the past. Um, Zenit St. Petersburg had that run uh, many years ago with uh, the likes of Hulk. Um, so two unknowns, um, but still should be quite a good matches. European matches always are. Um, Belgian football and Russian football are two different entities, so it should be interesting to watch. Um, so that is Tuesday at 9.55 a.m. Um, at the same time, there is Dinamo Kiev versus Juventus. Um, obviously, Juventus will be the favourites for this one. Um, but Dynamo Kiev, they're always one of those teams that have a decent side. Um, a bit like Shakhtar Donetsk, um, who we'll talk about later, but they usually have a, a well put together side and Ukrainian football has those teams that, that are hard to break down. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how Juventus do, especially because it is in Kiev, so um, tough place to travel to. Um, so, but I still think that Juventus is just going to be too strong, especially if they put out a full side um, with the likes of um, Ronaldo and uh, Dybala, etc. etc. Um, Red Bull Leipzig versus Istanbul Basakeshia. 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 Not sure how to say it. Istanbul B. Um, I think Leipzig will probably win this game. Um, obviously, they are still struggling a little bit from the. Uh, the loss of Timo Werner, um, but they still have some um, some great players. Um, Galaxy in goal with uh, Halstenberg in front of him, um, and they have this new um, young striker, um, Chuang Hee Chan, who's only a young um, young Korean lad um, who seems to be in fine form. So it'll be interesting to see interesting to see how he performs. Um, but I'm going to throw my hat on uh, on Leipzig winning this one. Um, Next one is Ren versus Krasnodar, and um, that is also at noon on Tuesday. Um, all of these times, by the way, are Pacific Standard Time. But um, yeah, I think it should be another interesting match. Um, French football can find it a struggle to uh, can find it hard to compete against Eastern European football sometimes. So it'll be interesting to see how they how they do deal with that. Um, so, but I think Ren, I think Ren could do quite well. Um, we'll see how their uh, how their free flowing football deals with the uh, the brute force of Eastern European football. Um, so, next one, quite a big match: uh, Lazio versus Dortmund. Um, that is also at noon on Tuesday. Um, Lazio have struggled at the start of the season, um, especially compared to Dortmund, who have just been. Just been killing it with the slight minor blip that weekend where them and uh, Bayern both lost. Um, but I think um, I think it will be interesting. Lazio's defence is relatively good versus Dortmund's attack being relatively good. Um, not to say anything about Lazio's attack or Dortmund's defence, but I think that um, those will be the key areas: is Dortmund's attack versus Lazio's defence. So, um, I'm going to say that Dortmund's going to win this. I can easily see a Haaland, um, Haaland masterclass, Haaland Sancho, um, and yeah, I think that they'll just be too too strong for the Italians. 
um, Chelsea versus Sevilla. So, interesting one, um, because Sevilla in the Europa League last season were just just ground out results. They didn't always play the most beautiful football. They didn't always um, destroy teams. In fact, they rarely ever did. But um, they're a hard team to to break down um, and hard to prepare for. So I think Chelsea have got to be careful on this one. But if Chelsea are firing on all cylinders, especially with the players that they've got who are well-versed in European football, I think Chelsea could do quite well. Uh, I think it's going to be a, maybe a two-all. Uh, I can't see either team cancelling each other out, so I think it's going to be a draw. Um, big one, for me anyway, is PSG versus Man United. So a repeat of a couple of years ago with uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's miraculous comeback in Paris. Um, so I think PSG will uh, will want some revenge for that. Although, that being said, um, they do have a lot of injuries to contend with and a lot of players that are going to be unavailable for this match. So it'll be interesting to see. It seems like they're still going to have Neymar and Mbappe, so that's going to be the danger, the danger zone right there. But um, it'll be interesting to see how they deal with those injuries that they've got. Um, whether or not the other players will be able to step up for them. So um, we'll just have to see what, what happens. But I think after the 4-1 win, I think Manchester United will have the bit between the teeth and I think they'll want to come out and prove themselves. I think it'll be an interesting match. <laughs> My heart's going to rule this one. I'm going to say that Manchester United's going to win 2-1. <laughs> um, next one, Barcelona versus Ferenc Varos. Um, that's the Hungarian team that have made it for the first time in 35 years. Um, I think Barcelona's just going to be too strong. They just they just are strong. I mean, they did lose over the weekend to Getafe, so we'll see. But I think they'll come out all guns blazing. They know how to do it in Europe, so I can see Barcelona winning this 2, maybe 3-0. Um, you know, well, let's give French Varos a, a goal. Uh, let's say 3-1. Um, Red Bull Salzburg versus Lokomotiv Moscow. Um, Salzburg is an interesting team. Uh, it's another one of the uh, the Red Bull teams that have been built up and, and worked their way through the ranks um, in that domestic league. Um, I know that they're one of those teams that's renowned for having those sorts of academy players in there. So, um, so interesting to see. Lokomotiv Moscow, um, I don't know much about them. I know that they've got a lot of uh, Russian um, nationals on their team. Um, they've got the likes of Chorluka, um, who was... Um, quite a prolific defender a couple of years ago in uh, in Europe. So um, it'll be interesting to see. Um, but I think it's going to be Salzburg just because I think that they've got the more attractive style of football anyway. Um, Real Madrid versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, obviously, Real Madrid are going to be the favourites, but just as Barcelona lost, they also lost this weekend. So I think um, if Shak Shakhtar Donetsk were going to take the... Uh, Take the time to beat Real Madrid, now is that time. And I think that um, they do have some good players with the likes of Tyson and Ismaili. Um, so you can't count them out. Um, so I still think it's going to be a Real Madrid victory, especially because they're at home at the Bernabeu. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if Shakhtar come out fighting what they, what they can possibly do. Um, Ajax versus Liverpool, so I think this could be quite an interesting one. Ajax obviously aren't as strong as they were um, in that season where they almost made it to the final against Liverpool by knocking out Spurs. But um, they've still got some some good young talent like uh, David Neres. Um, they've got the old stalwarts of, uh, of Daley Blind and uh, Onana is still an impressive goalkeeper. So... They still have some power there, and as I mentioned in my previous video, the uh, review of the weekend, um, Liverpool don't have Van Dijk, so it'll be interesting to see how they deal with that. Um, I think it's just going to be one of those good European nights, though, um, at, uh, at Ajax's stadium in Amsterdam, so um, definitely an entertaining one in my opinion. Uh, Manchester City versus Porto. Um, Manchester City... Um, and not having as good a season as they would have hoped. Um, and Porto, Porto were one of those unknowns. They're definitely not as good as the uh, Mourinho side that won them the Champions League, but they've still got uh, 
got some players like uh, Corona and um, what's his name, the striker, um, Morega, that can uh, that can break teams down. Um, so if City aren't careful, they could be in for a shock. Um, but I think City's going to win this one ultimately. Um, Midland versus Atalanta. Uh, Midland, obviously the team that broke into the scene a couple of years ago. Um, everyone was calling them Midland because they couldn't say it properly. Um, I think Atalanta is just going to be too strong for this for this team. They they score way too many goals, and I think they're just going to overwhelm um, overwhelm Paul Midland. Um, so we'll see though. We'll see. You never know with European football, and that's why I've been very careful with who I've selected. Um, but I think Atalanta is just too strong, especially after their showing last year, and it seems like they haven't slowed down. So uh, Olympiacos versus Marseille. Um, Marseille have been looking quite good, especially with the likes of Dimitri Payet. Um, but Olympiacos, again, they're one of those teams that always seems to have a strong European team. They very rarely make it out of the group stages, depending on what group they're in. But at the same time, I think that, um, that they're always a team you have to be wary of, at least. Um, so I think Marseille's going to win this one, though. But I think it's going to be close, maybe a 2-1 um, in Greece. So... Um, Next one is Inter Milan versus Borussia, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Um, Inter Milan um, have been doing very well up until the Milan derby, so I think they're going to come out all guns blazing and just steamroll over Mönchengladbach. Nothing against Mönchengladbach because they have a very good team, the likes of player up front, and um, so I think that Inter have to be careful of Mönchengladbach, but I think they just want to want to exercise those demons of what happened over the weekend. So, um, so yeah, another one that's going to be very entertaining. There's some very entertaining fixtures, um, whether or not I get the results right or whether or not there's any shock results, but just entertaining, interesting football going on. Um, and the final one, which this one is going to be, it's almost like a fixture that you'd expect in the semi-finals, um, Bayern Munich versus Atletico Madrid. Um, it's interesting because Bayern Munich are just such a high scoring team but Atletico Madrid just soak up so much pressure um, and now that they've got Diego Costa and Luis Suarez up front um, they're a dangerous, dangerous team in the likes of Koke and Saul and they're not a team to be taken lightly that's for sure um, but Bayern Munich reigning champions um, They've just been winning and winning and winning, with the exception of that slight blip that they had um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, going from strength to strength, they've still got Lewandowski. They've got Douglas Costa back. Um, I think they're just going to be too powerful for Atletico Madrid. But of course, like I said, can Atletico Madrid soak up that power? Can Diego Simeone put his special magic in there and stop uh, stop the, um, the Munich bus from rolling? So... Another one that's just going to be pure entertainment, I think, just one of those great European nights. So um, that's my preview of the uh, um, of the Champions League matches. Uh, ones to watch out for are definitely Bayern versus Atletico Madrid, uh, PSG versus Man United, Lazio versus Dortmund, and um, I'm going to say the Inter Milan Munch and Gladbach one. I think that that's going to be an interesting one, and also uh, Ajax versus Liverpool definitely ones to watch out for. So all of those, as I mentioned, are on CBS or uh, Fubo. Um, on Tuesday and Wednesday, um, they're all on 9.55 or noon Pacific Standard Time. So um, I'm going to wrap this up because we are getting to 14 minutes and I know people don't like the longer videos. So um, I hope you're all staying safe, keeping out of trouble, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Ta-ra for now.